What's up everyone, Pizzidis here, and in today's quick episode we will be making a default template for Ableton Live and we will be saving it so each time you open your Ableton it's gonna be there. So what is a default template then? Let's jump into the Ableton and I'll show you. So the default template is the first thing you see after you open your Ableton. So how the MIDI tracks are arranged, so we have two MIDI tracks, two order tracks, and it also has two return tracks, reverb and delay. So what if you want to change it? Why would you even want to change it? The first thing is to make your workflow faster and better and suitable for you, not for everybody. So you can preset your favorite instruments, you can preset your favorite effects or even your favorite colors that change everything to purple. Why not? Let's change different colors for each one. Yeah, nice. Matching colors. You can also create groups of instruments if you want. Like so, let's take two together. One groups. And you obviously know that you can do it, but you can save that as your default set. And let's quickly do that now. I'll show you. This is very simple. You will just basically go to the top menu. Press File. Save Live Set as a default set. Then you will just simply name it. I like to name it by the month and the year that I've created so I know how old my template is and I should change it soon probably. So let's call it July 22. And this will be my default template. So next time, if I'll have the new live set, it will look exactly how we designed. Pretty cool. But okay, the template doesn't have to be default. It can also be just a template that you load in for some kind of purpose. So if you want to do some type of recording, it already has some compressor or set in or anything. So it's not the one that loads with your Ableton, but you can just switch into that. Or for example, it can be your mastering template, which already has some preset and preloaded reference tracks for you to start straight away without even thinking how to get and how to put your reference tracks in. Okay, but now I'm just going to show you quickly what does my template look like. So my template will be this one here. As you can see, I've created it in March 22, so it's about time to update it a little bit. But anyway, I don't have any instruments or effects uh, preset before because I will usually start with some different ideas each time I start my work with Ableton. But what I have preset, which is most important for me, are the return tracks. So instead of having just a stock reverb, I have one which is slightly modified. And instead of having only delay, I will have a delay, which is also slightly modified with a ping pong. But the whole magic starts here when we see my hybrid reverb. That's the one I usually use most of the time. I will just tune that a little bit to the each track I make. Then the second thing is the shimmer. I'm going to show you that actually in a second. Okay, if I loaded the quick piano, let's turn off the reverb here and let's send the signal to my hybrid reverb. Sounds nice. Then let's see what the shimmer does. We will add only around half, which will be plenty. This is the preset I've actually built from one of the tutorials. I will be redoing that in one of my future videos. And the last thing I have in my return tracks will be the tape echo. Let's listen to that first. And this tape delay is created by my friend Rabbit and the Moon. I will link his profile in the description box down below so you can listen to your music. You really should. So yeah, basically that's it. That is very simple and very straightforward. You can do whatever you want with your template and you can always go back to the default one if you mess up with something. So don't worry about it too much. Just go with the flow and do whatever you like. And just to make your life easier in Ableton, set up whatever you want to start with. And each time you open Ableton, it will be waiting for you. 
Okay, so as always, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you aren't already. Hit the like button, that helps a lot. And see you guys in the next video. Cheers, bye.